staple of many of my chicks. As you can tell, they're a little bit skittish, but I mean, that's normal for chickens because chickens are usually a prey animal. So, yeah. They've been eating like pigs, spilling feed everywhere. I tried to take away their bowl for a little bit to see if they pick it up. They picked up a little bit, but then I felt bad because some of the babies didn't know how to scratch at it, so I put it back. And they seem to be good on water, so yeah. I'll check back with you tomorrow. Hey guys, day five of the chicks. They're getting a little bit bigger. And Fuzz is still not growing out his wings, so yeah, besides that, they're super sloppy with the food. Uh, the water is less dirty. They still kick some stuff into it, but it's, I think the block actually helped make it a little bit neater. Turns out it's mainly the bigger ones that spill it all, so... Yep. We're probably going to have to clean them today or tomorrow, so I'll update you tomorrow. It's day six of the Ray McMurray chicks, and they're getting so big. They're catching up with the older chicks. Mainly the Brahmas are getting bigger, but... Yeah. Fuzz is still mostly featherless, while his siblings are mostly feathered out. See that? Fuzz, his siblings. I don't know what's up with them, but... And the Brahmas are getting so much bigger. Like, they're nearly the size of the older chicks. And the Polish, well, the Polish are growing at their own speed. And they're mainly getting their wing feathers right now, but I can't wait until they start feathering out on their heads. <laughs> it's gonna look so wonky. But, that's all for day six. Hey guys, day seven of the chicks. These little guys are growing so fast. These hatchery chicks, they are, they're starting to grow their tail feathers and their wing feathers. And the three older chicks are starting to grow back feathers. They haven't started growing them on their head yet, but they're starting to get some of their back feathers on, so. The little ones are growing so fast. The Brahmas are nearly as big as the oldest chicks now. They're getting so tall. I might have to add another 2x4 uh, underneath it if they keep getting any taller. But yeah, that's all for day 7. Hey guys, today's day 11 of the chicks. As you can see with Twink down there, the original three are almost fully feathered out. They're starting to feather out on their heads. And that one's Slyron. Where's Fuzz? There's Fuzz. The big gray one that still is still not feathering out. Uh, wings are still a whole lot shorter than his siblings. Don't know what's up. Even these little guys are catching up with them. They're starting to feather out their wings and tails. As you can see, they got little feathers. They haven't started feathering out on their backs yet, but I'm expecting them to start that soon. And the Brahmas are getting height. Like, look at them. They are getting huge. Not near as big as the original three, but they're catching up. That's all for day 11. Today, we will be cleaning them. I'll show you how it's done. You only have a place to store them while you um, clean their cage. So we're going to use this. It is a bit small, but it's all I could find on short notice. And they're only going to be here for a few minutes. We're going to put the dirty litter in this bucket. And then take that and put it in this wheelbarrow. And then we'll just put the clean litter in a bucket similar to this. And dump it in there. Let's get started. Alright guys, so we're gonna get started. First we're gonna catch all of first we're gonna take this out after we turn it off. Gonna put this to the side. Then we'll take the water. I'm going to have a lot of vacuuming to do after this. Then we're going to take, we're going to take this box and we're going to stick the 
tricks in it. Granted, it's going to be a tight fit, but I think we'll manage. Oh gosh, this is going to take a while. and all that. Well, once he has... Yep. Oh, he feels so soft. But once all his feathers are like his wings, then we'll let him out and poop. Look, he has only, see his uh, wings and his tail? They're barely feathering out, but if I catch, whenever I catch a sibling, I'm gonna catch him for side by side comparison. His sibling, this is the youngest. The youngest is already feathering out, while the oldest is still fuzzy. So that's why I'm kind of worried about him. I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping it's not a failure to thrive chick type circumstance, but it might be. I'm just hoping we don't lose him. Mm. Ah, here's Runt, the smallest of the chicks. Look at him. This is nice. Yep, it's a leg and builder. They're known to be very protective of their flock. So which one is the fluffiest? Wait. The fluffiest would probably be the piranha. Look at them. They have furry feet. It should go down the side and the middle toe. They're mostly known for it going down the middle toe. That's one way to tell them apart. And also, they're they're gonna get giant. Brahmas are huge. So pretty much, they're gonna be bigger than everything else. Yep. In the cute ones, they grow up. They're gonna be and older than their parents. The Polish always have these big old pom poms. Mm. Afro. Yep, Afro. I'm trying to set them down gently so I don't hurt them. You have so many Afro ones. But so yep. many normal ones. I got eight Afros. And I ordered seven normal looking ones. But one of them died on the way. Luckily, I had a surprise chick. It's way harder to get these because they're the last few, you know? Oh crap! They're whistling! They're moving them up! Oh, remember the last time they trampled each other? Yeah, but this box is a lot bigger and they're only going to be in here for a few minutes. I'm just hoping they're not getting flashbacks from all the, from the box. Come on, little guy. I'm going to bring it out here. Yeah, finally. The last one. The last one. Okay, so. Alright. Now that we have them all closed up, temporarily of course, we're going to take this bucket and we're going to start yeah. scooping. Yeah. They're nasty little fellers, but... It's gonna be a lot. Yeah, we're gonna have to start. We're gonna have to start changing this more frequently because there's so many of them. So let's put this in here so we don't spill any. Yeah, that would be a smart version. So guys, please do that. If you 
should have a big enough enclosure. Yeah. one bucket you may not yeah I might have to go for several trips that's why I have a wheelbarrow out there. a second trip just a second trip yeah maybe I might be able to fit it all if I shake it down yeah but I might not yeah because that's a lot and this is big this is like huge make sure they don't escape they're scrambling okay should I just should I just close it Icky. It's already closed. Icky. It's closed. I'm just kind of worried about them. They're banging their heads and it's going to hurt them. Probably not. They'll be fine. It's only for a few minutes and they haven't even been in there for five minutes. So, I mean, they'll be fine. Yeah. And plus, it took them like hours to get here. So, oh, it's about to rain. Yeah. And sorry about the mess out back. We're actually digging a pool. So, yeah. It'll look a bit, it'll look messy for a little while, but yeah. Once Dad gets time to go and build the pool, it actually gets clean, then yay. dumped the dirty shavings into our compost pile and we put the heater back in we have the food and water in there we're filling up the feed and water right now but what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up these little guys I'm gonna put them inside Road from uh, Roll King. I'm pretty sure it was medium shavings. And so ours kind of look like this. Used to last time we bought them, so like last year, the these tiny pieces weren't in there. But I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because our chicks don't seem to be having any negative effects. But used to, it was like just these, but it's fine. Um, and we get ours from Roll King. Uh, getting Pine shavings from Roll King can usually cost just about $5, depending on the brand. Uh, so I recommend medium flake is large, is too big, small is too small. So I recommend medium flake. And uh, I would also recommend trying uh, to get pine shavings or shredded paper, but even shredded paper can't compare to pine shavings. If you get any other type of wood besides pine, like if you get cedar, it can really mess up your chick's lungs because they have very fragile uh, respiratory systems. My older chickens recently got sick because we just had some grass in there that grew some mold and that got in their lungs and messed them up for a bit. Gl uh, gladly, they're, they've gotten better, but... Um, I def definitely recommend getting pine shavings because otherwise it might mess up your chicks. And uh, yeah, this stuff is super absorbent. It can absorb like 10 times its weight inside of water, which doesn't seem like much whenever you're just looking at one chip. But if you're looking at the whole thing, that, that's a lot. And uh, yeah, it also absorbs the smell. So 
it makes it to where your chicks don't stink. That way you can keep them in the house without upsetting mom. <laughs> so, yeah, I find pine shavings extremely helpful and I absolutely recommend them. Hey guys, we've been building a chicken fence for a few days now and I thought I just might show you guys what we're up to. So, we kind of blend the concrete to a how you put it, like an oatmeal -y consistency, almost. Then we pour it into one of these holes that we measured out. We measure up the pole two foot because it's an eight foot pole that leaves six feet above ground, two feet below to hold it there. Then we just kind of shimmy that down to ground level until the line hits ground level. And yeah, that makes it super stable. Then we start adding those top rods over there, those top things. And then there's bars that clamp on that have fencing on them, but I'll show you guys that later. Nah, uh, Mother Nature decided to hit us with a bunch of rain. So uh, we're just gonna be hanging out in the garage till it passes over, then we'll keep on.